<clears throat> Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to take you through the process of how we're going to turn this keg into a moonshine steel. Now it's a 15.5 gallon keg. I will not say the brand of it. However, they all are pretty much about the same. Now I did run into an issue. I did pick up a different keg that is from a different beer company. And if you look it's going to be a little different in size on the I don't know where your tap fits into it or the bong or whatever you technically want to call this thing this one here is about two and a half inches let me get a tape we'll measure it now when I was purchasing these I did some looking online and it tells you all of them are about the same size unless I was just not reading the right stuff but if you look at this one it's right at two and a half inches now let me measure the other one and show you the difference in them. This is a 13.2 gallon keg. And if you look at the top of this one, it's actually about 2 15 16. So there's quite a bit of difference in those in two different kegs. So this is 13.2 gallons. And the other one is 15.5. Now the very, very first thing that we're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that this keg doesn't have any pressure on it. So you're going to take this little ball valve and mash it down and keep it down as far as you can. And you'll know if there's any pressure in there. It will definitely come out of there. But you want to suspend that ball down a little bit lower. There's a spring underneath there that's keeping it from popping, uh, pushing it back up. So you want to make sure that ball is pressed down enough to relieve any, any pressure that's inside there. Just like I've done right there. Alright, our next step guys, is we're going to take that little locking ring out of there. And it is pretty tough to get out. Let me show you a close-up of it. Let me get my camera set up here. Sorry about the bloops and blunders. But it's a one-man band here. Alright, what you're going to find in there you're going to see a little spiral locking ring like this right here and of course this is going to be the top side and it's going to be set down inside there just like that now this thing is going to be spun a little bit more this way I've already spun it back this direction counterclockwise to line those little tabs up but this is going to be down inside there in a little bitty lip right up in underneath here it holds this, this bottom part in the, in the in the keg itself now you'll have to spin that around till you see these little tabs right here line up in these little slots once you do that then you should be able to get that just like so here's what comes out of the bottom of it I'll get you a little better shot of that so you know what you're dealing with. You've got a gasket there. And of course, this tab. Hope the camera's not too blurry. Let me try to keep it away from it. I'm real bad about bringing it up close where it gets blurry. This camera's auto focusing, but this uh, Canon EOS M50 and me just don't get along too well. So, But there's one tab there, one tab there. Like I said, you'll have to spin these counterclockwise make sure these line up with the slots right here and then of course this thing will come right out of there so that's how you get that out of it of course next step we're going to do is we're going to put some water in this little thing put it on the fire and we're going to steam it up and cook the inside out real well and get it ready for the next step but let me show you that one more time The snap ring was really the hardest part to get out of it. Like I said, if you, if you start prying right here, and this little ear here, it's got a little indentation in it. If you start prying on that right there, and pulling that little ring out of there a little bit at a time, just like you see right there, then it'll pop right out of there. So, hope that helps you get this part out of the, out of the keg. Stick around, let's keep going. All right, now the next thing you'll want to do after you have this uh, removed from the center of the keg is you'll want to put this on a burner 
or first rinse it out with some water the best you can uh, I'll stick a board on this side and a board on this side flip it upside down uh, or set the board on the ground that way this is suspended up in the air and uh, shake it around with some clean water flush it out and then go ahead and fill it about oh, a third of the way or a quarter of the way with water get your burner now if you look at this burner here I had to adapt make an adapter to set on top because the keg would overhang the sides and it wouldn't set flush on top of the, the burner so I made me a little adapter here and I welded it to it let me walk around there so you can see it better a little square set up there and it's not centered on there exactly but it'll look something like that that way whenever I got fire going underneath it it will actually uh, stay stable but back to what I was saying is a uh, put you oh I don't know five six seven gallons in there crank that old fire up get you some steam bellowing out the top of this thing here and uh, grab you some gloves shake that old thing around put it back on that old fire steam it up a little bit more cook that inside out pretty good you might want to do that one or two times to sterilize the inside of it now they do make some some chemicals out there and compounds or whatever you want to call it that you can uh, dump inside there and uh, sand star or star sand or something like that I'm not sure what they call it but you can google it and find out but I haven't had any problem with just uh, get me some water there putting it inside there put it on that old burner and uh, shoot some propane to it and heat it up and kind of cook that old okay old out there so it'll be kind of sterilized for you well guys what I'm gonna do is uh I've got the parts coming in to, to set this thing up and uh, I'll conclude this video finish it up where we're at right now and uh, I'll make a second it's gonna be like a, this is the first part of a probably a two or three part series video maybe even a four part but uh, hit the like subscribe button and uh, you know if we helped you in any any way here if you want to see what it's gonna look like when we get it finished we'll uh, in the second video we'll probably post some links down in the comments section so you can see where to buy the parts that we're going to be using to build this uh this setup stick around like i said hit the like subscribe we'll put out part two and then part three and then maybe part four and five if we have to on actually turn making some devil's juice with this whole thing appreciate you watching see you on the next video